I am Anil Kumar and here is a test problem for my students. The question here is, the two sets of diagrams are shown below. They represent the same pattern. Write algebraic expression to describe their pattern and show that both the patterns are same. Right? So we have two patterns here. So these are two different patterns shown. But you'll notice that they have same number of blocks. The number of blocks here are, you can see, three, and then one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and one, five. Here also, the number of blocks are three, four, and five. So, strictly speaking, the patterns are exactly the same, but the way they have been colored is kind of different. And the reason here is that that helps you to write down an algebraic expression. So, the question for you is to write two different algebraic expressions for them and then show that both these different algebraic expressions are exactly the same. So, I hope you understand the question. So, you can now pause the video, write down the two algebraic expressions, one for the pattern given on the top and the other one given on the bottom and then prove that both your expressions are exactly the same, right? So, let's see how to do it. So, we'll call them as figure number one. Let's call this as figure number one. This is figure number two and this is figure number three for us. Now, to write the pattern, what we do is we say let n be the figure number, right? So, the variable for me is n, which is figure number. So, if I see this pattern at the bottom, one quantity is fixed. Do you see that? One quantity is fixed. So, I could write a rule saying one and that is fixed. And what changes is two, three, and four. Now, that change, how is it related with, with the number? That is what you have to figure out. Now, pattern number one gives you two. Pattern number two gives you three, right? So, it is basically n plus one. Do you see that? For 3, we have 4. So, it is 1 more than the number of pattern. So, I could write this as n plus 1. So, that could be my rule, right? So, so in this column, I am going to write down my rule. So, that is the rule for this pattern. Now, let us write down the rule from the top also. In this particular case, what do we see? We see that 2 units are fixed. So, we will say 2 plus what is changing? 1 and then we have 2 and then 3. Now, this is 1 for 1, 2 for 2, 3 for 3. That means n, right? So, 2 plus n is the rule when I shade in the sh in the way shown here, correct? So, these are my rules which actually give us the pattern, right? So, these are the pattern rules. Now, the second part of this question is to prove that both these rules are exactly same, right? So, can you do that? Okay, so let us combine this, 1 plus n plus 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we can write 1 plus 1 plus n, now 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get 2 plus n, do you see that? So both are 2 plus 1, 2 plus n, 2 plus n, so they are exactly same rules but written in different ways. So that gives you an idea that whenever a pattern is given, we can kind of rearrange them and get an expression which will help us to describe the pattern. So, this is extremely important example. Go through it and understand how to write a pattern rule for the given pattern. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you and all the best.